What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and as we roll into the weekend I wanted to bring you a video really quick showing you three great locations you can farm early on in the game and get a lot of great loot in a short amount of time. Now if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and we are having an Xbox giveaway but I will save that until the end of the video. Now one of the main reasons I like these locations is that you can come back to these spots anytime you want in your gameplay because remember there is enemy scaling so as you progress through the game you're definitely going to hit a point where you're going to need better gear and this is a great way to get it now the first spot i'm showing you it's a stronghold east of kyovashad and i believe the game recommends you're around level 15 when you hit this up for the enemies i'm at level 23 that's just when i got to this point in the game now once you clear the area you will be prompted to engage with the wanderer shrine once you do that it will unlock the stronghold and then it becomes a camp and at that point you will have access to a new dungeon in this area and one thing I want to make sure I mention is every stronghold is going to have one of these so you definitely want to make these a priority as you continue through your gameplay. Now you can see the dungeon I'm referring to is Annika's Claim. I believe a lot of people hit this up in the open beta as well and the reason this is so effective is because when you're in this dungeon you are going to run into so many elite enemies. I mean I think in this run I faced at least a dozen of them that's when I stopped counting and obviously when you're running into elites it increases the chances of you getting that high-end gear and legendaries as well which brings me to one important point and that is a legendary drop rate is going to be pretty low between levels 1 through 20. I did receive one I think around a 11 or 12, but once I surpassed 25 and got into 30, that is when I noticed a major change in the drop rate. I was receiving them much more frequently, so again, do not let this frustrate you if the legendaries are not falling. At this point, if you're really starting off, you can focus on getting that high-end gear because obviously that will make a huge difference as well. Now, for those of you out there who feel you are not at the point to hit up a stronghold, there is another great dungeon you can hit up at any point in the game. It is just east of Yelesna. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, when you get to this spot, it's the exact same concept as the previous one I showed you. You're you're going to run into a ton of elite enemies you're going to get a lot of high-end gear the possibility of legendaries as well and another thing is right outside of this dungeon there is a world activity right next door so you can hit that up as well now one thing I want to mention is when you're clearing these things even though it may take you a little while to clear it depending on your build it is definitely worth your time you're going to be getting all of the loot we talked about you're going to see different chests as well stacking XP and as always if you have any other questions comments or feedback please let me know last but not least today Today, my friends I want to show you once again one of my favorite world activities to hit up and this is something I highlighted in a video yesterday and you can see on the screen it is a pinned location on the map right there just south of Kyovashad I said activity but it's a world event and in my opinion it is definitely one of these spots you want to hit up at any point in the game and the main reason I say that is with these world activities you can clear them in a matter of minutes and because they're in the open world there's a chance you will run into other players as well and when that takes place you're not only going to be able to clear it much faster but you'll also get a slight XP boost which really helps at that point you can fast travel back to town rinse and repeat as many times as you like one final thing I'd like to mention really quick and most of you know this but these methods I'm showing you on screen are really for early game obviously once you complete the main storyline which I'm not even close to having done as yet however when those end credits roll that's when the true farming begins in this game because that's when we hit end game now I don't know about you and please let me know what you think in the comment section down below but I intend to truly take my time with this game I want to really enjoy the story arc and it actually brings me to one important thing I want to mention as we finish off and that is the difficulty that you choose at this point in the game has no impact on the drop chance or the quality of loot that you're going to get so choose whichever one you want you can see I'm on world tier one and I still get a legendary to drop with all that being said my friends I'm going to start to wrap this up as always I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and as I mentioned earlier we are currently having a giveaway for an Xbox Series S. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced August 1st of this year. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.